Hi guys. I'm here to do another book haul for you guys. Um, I know it's been a while um, and these videos are getting fewer and fewer but I will try my best to get as many up as I can um, quicker than I have been. Um, so as always I'll show you the books I bought myself and then the books the website got sent. First up I got Fingerprints 4, Fingerprints 5 and Fingerprints 6. Um, these are basically by Melinda Metz and they're part of the Fingerprint series. Um, there's 8 in the series I think, 7. So I think it's seven in the series, um, and these were out years ago. You can't actually buy these in the shop anymore. You've got to buy them like second hand. But I was lucky and got kind of decent enough copies um, for not too, too for not too expensive. Um, she all she had the first three she brought out last year in a book called Echoes, and that's basically just the first three stories into the one book. And we were sent that for review and I absolutely loved it last year. It was one of my top ten last year. I absolutely loved it. So I wanted to know what else happens in the rest of the story. So I bought these ones. So I, I, I emailed Melinda Metz and asked her um, if there was differences in the story. And she said no, it was just like pop culture differences. So I would be fine to address these. So I'm looking forward to getting out of these. Next up I got The 39 Clues Book 4 which is Beyond the Grave and this one's by Jude Watson. Um, I basically have read the first four and I'm just going to make my way through the full series because now I think it's one of these books or series you just start and they're so short and so snappy and you just have to know what happens, you just have to know where the, what the clues are, what they all lead up to. I'm going to continue buying these until I've got them all. Book 5 which is The Black Circle and this one is by Patrick Cameron. The series has got all different authors um, but it's the still same story, same people. And the good thing is that the authors are all quite similar so that you're not, they're not completely different styles where you're, you know, liking one and not liking the other. They're all pretty good. So, yeah. Up as the ones we were sending for the website. So we got Gina Blacksell's Pretty Twisted. So it sounds pretty good. It's basically about a boy who starts talking to a girl online and at the same time his girlfriend goes missing and the girl that he's been talking to online and him basically venture out on a search of their own. You see it from the girl online's point of view. I think her name's Freya. Sorry, Rose. Her name's Rose. Um, and it's basically she's keeping a secret as well. So it sounds quite good. Um, the tagline's quite intriguing. Two different stories, one missing girl who would you trust? This sounds quite good. Next up the website got The Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hook. Huck. Um, and we've also got the second one which is The Tiger's Quest um, by her. And I just want to say I think the covers are gorgeous, especially the first one. The second one's really nice as well but I personally think the first one is really, really, really pretty. Um, so I'm not actually sure what these are about actually. Um, it basically involves magic and basically to do with someone who has been cursed and basically find a way to break the curse. Other than that, I'm not really clued up and I'm assuming this one falls on from it. But basically this lady had started out, um, this Colleen lady, she started out, she self-published this and then she ended up being in the New York Times bestseller list and she ended up getting fully published by Hoda and she's still in the New York Times bestseller list so we send it out and we'll give it a go. So, so that's it guys, um, quite a short haul this month, hopefully I'll have more books next month.